are so excited that you're joining us in celebrating the debut of our 17th poster, the triple record breaking Max Force. It is my pleasure to introduce park president, Hank Salemi. Oh yeah! Hey guys, can everybody hear me okay? Yeah. Good morning everyone, and thanks for coming. I just want to thank each and every one of you for coming out and joining us today. It's an incredibly exciting day, incredibly exciting weekend. We're just so thrilled to have Max Force in our lineup of coasters here at Six Flags Great America. It is a triple record breaker. If you've been on it or about to get on it, you're going to break three records today. It is the fastest launching coaster in North America. It goes from zero to 78 miles an hour, less than two seconds, 1.8 seconds to be exact. It also is the highest double inversion in the world and the fastest inversion in the world. It's an amazing ride. Talk to the people who've been on it. I think they'll tell you it's gotten great reviews. There's a few folks I would like to hear. We have some guests from the Village of Gurney, uh, some of our um, economic director, Ellen Dean, uh, Mayor Kavoric. Mayor Kavoric, I think, was going to come today. Pat, Pat Munz is here, and a number of Village board members I've run into this morning. Thanks for coming, the members of the Village of Gurney. Thank you so much, you guys. Um, we also just want to thank Maureen Reedy and her team from Visit Lake County. Thank you, Maureen, for bringing your team out and your support. We couldn't do it without you. Um, and they do such a tremendous job generating tourism in Lake County, Illinois. And we're so appreciative of their support. Uh, Representative Mason's here. We you wave to you. Thank you, Representative, for coming out today. Uh, she's already been on it a couple of times, I hear, and she's, about, she's ready to go back, right? All right, that's great to hear. Um, it seems fitting for Max Force that we're actually opening it this weekend. Uh, the Coca-Cola Fourth Fest that also goes on starting tomorrow will be going now through or tomorrow through Thursday, and it's, it really surrounds um, the, the weekend with tremendous extra events that go on. Besides all of our coasters, all of our rides, Hurricane Harbor, and all the things there are to do at Six Flags Great America, we'll have events and activities going on all day long, as well as fireworks every night, the third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. So. Wednesday night through Saturday, we'll be doing fireworks nightly here at Six Flags Great America, right around 9.30. Best place to see those is over in Southwest Territory. It's just a really fitting time to open Max Force. As you know, it doesn't stop this weekend. Max Force will be here all year, and then a lot more happens as we go through the season. Fright Fest every fall has become a staple here at Six Flags Great America, and for the second time ever, Starting last year, our Holiday in the Park event will be starting Black, Black Friday and going all, through, all the way through the rest of 2019 on the weekends. So it's going to be a great season. Uh, it's going to be a great year. As you know, Fourth of July kind of signifies the start of summer in the Chicago and Milwaukee area. And we're thrilled that you joined us today. And we're thrilled that you're going to join us all season long. The best way to do it is with a membership or a Six Flags season pass at SixFlags.com. Please take advantage of that. You can come back again and again and again, ride Max Force and the rest of our coasters. It's hot, but it, we're not complaining because it finally feels like summer. It's time to open this ride and get started. Members and season pass holders can ride tomorrow, and then on Thursday, the whole world can join us on July the 4th to ride Max Force. Thank you again. It's a great ride. Please hop on it. You'll go right over there through that blue gate. If you're ready to ride and you're here for media day, please join us on the ride for the rest of the day. Thank you very much. Right. Great. So we've actually been covering this coaster for over a year from when this was a dirt pile nice. and we were all speculating on what it was awesome. going to be. Um, why did you choose a launch coaster as our next edition? It, it's just, it was one of the things that we thought would be a great complement to our other rides. And a launch coaster here at this park means a ton. I mean, I think it's just, it's just a, it's such a great experience. And for us to set three records with a new launch coaster, it just, it, it blew everybody away when we started thinking about it from the, from the planning and design standpoint all the way to the day when we, when we got it open. Yeah, it's, I, I agree. It's totally, it fills out the lineup for it Great does. America pretty, pretty amazingly. Yeah. yeah. Um, the other question is, there's a couple launch coaster manufacturers. There's like, Intamin is the one that like, came mm -hmm. to cause the big one. Um, sure. Is there a reason why you guys went with S&S over the rest of them? Because they do a great job. 
and we've had a lot of success working with them, not only at Six Flags Great America, but all through Six Flags. They built our Joker ride a couple of years ago, did a fantastic job, and again, a great 4D coaster that we have at, at King to Cod, the big 4D spin. Now we're back on with, with back with SNS, and this ride is just shattering every not only three records, but everybody's expectations as well. I, I totally agree. I had nice middle expectations, and it blew my expectations. Yeah, it's fantastic. So great. Great to hear. Uh, one last thing. Of course. With how popular this ride is proving to be, could uh -huh. we be seeing these at other parks coming? Possibly. I know you, possibly. You know, I, I'm responsible for this park, and yeah. obviously, and, and a lot of it depends on people coming out, you know, supporting it, doing doing a good job. That's really at the end of the day what Six Flags looks at. If rides yeah. produce turnstile clicks, then it's something that we absolutely want to repeat at some of our other parks. Yeah, I'm sure so. this line will be all the way out there. I hope so. I hope a lot of people are coming yeah. to ride it, and Fourth of July weekend is a great place to start. Yeah, sweet. All right. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet Thank you, you for Thanks talking. For and thank Goodbye. you for running the best six flags park. Oh, you're <laughs> nice.